An ESPN uh, sports reporter uh, has gone viral. Now this happened during Monday Night Football, something that I typically don't care about. But uh, somehow Sergio Dip managed to make me care a lot about Monday Night Football. Now he was uh, acting as a sideline reporter. And unfortunately, since it was his debut as a sideline reporter, and typically he does his sports broadcasting in Spanish, it didn't go off as smoothly as one would hope. Now, I would love to show you the original video, but we can't for copyright reasons. And so as a result, uh, we got Jason Rubin, our lovely sports reporter, to recreate uh, the performance of Sergio Dip. Before we go to the video, if you didn't watch it, you don't have to watch it. Jason nailed it. It was. He's saying word for word what Sergio said during the broadcast and doing a hell of a job of acting just like Sergio and he almost kind of looks like him too. So if you didn't see it, you don't have to, here it is. Beth, coach, it's a pleasure to be with you guys here on the field from up close. Just watching coach Vance Joseph from here. You watch him now on the screen. This diversity in his background is helping him a lot tonight. Quarterback at Colorado defensive back in the NFL, and here he is having the time of his life this night, making his head coaching debut. <laughs> okay. okay, so that was word for word what he said. We just reread it. Uh, check out Jason Rupin on uh, youtube.com slash TYT sports, by the way, yes. So I am missing some context that I want you to fill in the blanks for, yes. okay? So uh, this was a legendary game for a number of different reasons. Uh, now, the thing that people kind of latched onto was the word diversity that mm -hmm. Dip used uh, during mm -hmm. his sideline reporting. Uh, can you just hash that out a little bit? Yeah, it wasn't that legendary. <laughs> it was just a fairly normal game. I mean, he's a young black coach, that's fine. Uh, and, and Sergio is from ESPN Deportes. And he's a young 29 year old broadcaster. Mm -hmm. And so he's also a minority. He's saying like it's a nice thing that Vance Joseph is getting this break. Was the coach on the other side also a minority? I think that was the thing, yeah. Yeah, because the Chargers just changed their coach. Yeah. yeah. Okay, really not that important a game. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. whatever. So, I mean, people with two black head coaches. That was one of the things um, that was a big actual like historic thing when it was a Super Bowl coached by two black coaches. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. And, and, and by the way, so more context here. Uh, normally it's only one Monday night game, but today, uh, but in the beginning of the season they are now doing two Monday night games to, to launch the season. So there's like an A crew and there's a B crew, mm -hmm. and they're giving Sergio a shot and the B crew. Yeah. And so I mean, you like you're like God Aww. bless your heart. Okay. Okay. So look, this story so far, in my opinion, is kind of shwang wang wang. Okay. So here's a sideline reporter. He didn't do so great. But here's where the story, in my opinion, does get there interesting. Was, there was that one line in there, he said his diversity mm -hmm. helped him tonight. That could have been the hook of sounding like, which this is not what he meant, right. which we'll get to. But that's what could have rung in some people's ears is the Rush Limbaugh thing saying he's getting his credit because he's black, not because of any of yeah, his Yeah, but you know, I think most morals. of the most of the heat was not about politics. It was just like, he didn't do that well. <laughs> Okay, so and a lot of okay. people were making fun, but in like kind of a sweet way. They weren't being those stuff I saw wasn't that mean. Yeah, they were using this line. What is it? Oh, boom goes the dynamite or something. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's, that's the internet thing. That's the internet thing where they oh. that where it went disastrously. Okay, right, and All that's right. the reference to that. So people yes. kept using that and tweeting to him, and I'm sure um, you know it wasn't a comfortable thing for him to experience. So he posted a video on his Twitter account, and it's just so sweet and so earnest. Like, okay, let's take a look. So what I wanted to do was to show some respect, making my debut as a minority on American national TV, the biggest stage out there. On the most heartfelt day in this great country made up by immigrants, and on some people's perspective, it all went wrong. But I truly meant no disrespect because all I wanted to do was to show some love to these two historical head coaches. Okay, so here's the thing. Um, you guys helped us raise money for reporters, and I really think we need to hire him. Oh, of course. <laughs> like, I think that we need to, uh, you know, we need a comprehensive sports reporting crew. <laughs> and we just don't have, like, 
The Latino perspective in our sports department, in my opinion, is a little underrepresented, <laughs> and we need to hire Sergio you immediately. Are, you love Latino men so no, much. It's absurd. It has nothing to do with that. Okay, he's so, a hard worker. Okay, and he, you know, yeah, he no, wants I don't know. more opportunities, <laughs> okay. and I want to give it to him. Okay, <laughs> so so look, I, I don't know that he should be. I feel bad saying that. Anyway. He could get better though, James. He, he could, could get better. Look, here's the thing. Most people, especially when they're placed in a new role, like, you know how terrible we were on camera? I me, cringe I, at old videos. I was need, awesome from the start. You need no you weren't. You need the opportunity to improve and grow. And so I'm glad he got that opportunity. I hope they keep giving him that opportunity because oh. he wants to do better. Okay, or it could be that he is a good looking guy no, it's who had a cute that. little like suit on with a little lapel flower and seemingly reading that from his hotel room after he was devastated after checking Twitter. Uh, anyway, uh, but uh, to be fair, Let's show you a really small clip of me when I got started in Miami and see how well I did back then. Guys, excuse me, don't push me. <laughs> it actually got way worse from there. That's from a scene from Mad as Hell, but if you watch the whole clip, I asked Kevin Spacey, why did you come out and talk about the gay thing? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> So Sergio, I'm with you, brother. Hang in there, hang, hang in, in there. there. And now that he did that cute video, a lot of people are on his side. They're like, come on, you got ESPN, you gotta give him another chance. They have to. <laughs> and not because of the Anna's reasons. No, <laughs> I think that he is, there's a lot of untapped talent there. <laughs> There that is. she'd like to tap. There is. <laughs> I'm married, you know. So none so of that. No. That put her in trouble. That put me in trouble. <laughs> okay. All right, but one final point that I think is important to bring up um, in regard to this story. Can we go to graphic 34 real quick? Just, you know, just a, there's the uh, post that he put up there. Now let's go to graphic 22. He thinks he thinks he's superior to that guy. Let's just do it <laughs> one more time, okay? Steve Bannon. Steve Bannon thinks he <laughs> is superior to that guy. <laughs> just, just want to put it all out there. Just okay. want to put it all out there. Okay. Now, okay. You know what happened? It's, now it's out there. Okay. If you like this clip of the Young Turks, you know there's a whole live two-hour show, six to eight p.m. Eastern every day, and you can download it or stream it and watch it without ads if you become a member. Tytnetwork.com/join.